What do you mean about children down wells? Do you know what? I was talking to an old Cornish grockle last night on the vine. Uh, first of all, I was told, let's say, before that, you're going to see a lot of children down wells or something. And then, um, whatever, this got old grockle was like passing vision over. Really like. And I'm not really sure. I don't really have a shingle thing, it's like this is just shingle. So what shingle? It's noise, I suppose, isn't it? A shingle path. I've been, I've been, out, I've been running up and down that all day, though, shingle path. It makes a noise, you can hear it coming. Um, or going. So, and I was just saying, I think sometimes we have shingle paths at churchyards and things. So you can, the spirits can hear you going in and you can hear them coming out, which you, you can, I suppose, if they start banging pots and things around. Um... But then I was thinking about children down wells, and it's like, mm, I don't know, it's like a, a metaphorical thing as well, isn't it? Um, you know, you can't see any other, anything else apart from what's around you. Um, basically, that was it. And then I started thinking about ink wells and writing. Children down ink wells. How do you get out of a well? Well, these the old stone ones used to have steps in them, didn't they? Um, which I suppose goes back to the navigating. The navigate your way around things. You have to have a toolbox, don't you? I was told before. You need a toolbox of what? Of things. I don't really know though, but the shingle thing, I don't know if it, what, what that means exactly. I think it can mean a mulch sheet of things in plate in playground. Um basically it's just noise, I suppose. And not wizard rocks, but I don't know. If it's just noise, it lets you know there's something there, doesn't it? There's somebody on the path. There's somebody walking on the path. I don't know what guacal means. It means different things, doesn't it? In different places. When we were in Sharon, the guacal was a local holiday maker. Um, people who came to town that they bought the money in. That was a grocco in, in Sheringham. It's true. It might mean something different. It might it does mean something different. It already means something different. It means something different to me. That might be my Cornish knees. Um. <laughs> I'm making. Where have I been? I went to old St Mark's. I sent some pictures to my mother because I, I did that letter to my granddaughter yesterday and I can't remember. I had a dream. Um, and I drew the gravestone picture and then I wanted to go back and check the details uh, and the grave so, and took some pictures. So I sent the pictures to my mum. So if, they, if she gets the card and wants to see the actual grave, I've taken the pictures to show that is a real thing and not just one of my you know what moments in uh whatever uh plate land i suppose what's plate land plates are what are plates i was, I was just thinking it was like a serving plate a serving plate in your brain in your, in your brain cavity where uh you get your your ideas or your spiritual things if you've got dirty plates or crumbs on it you've got cheap plates i don't know there's different ways these are modern plates these are old classic plates these are what? We're different Sunday plates. These are the. This is the serving plate! I mean, anything. You keep walking around and around and around the plate. The plate dynamic for a long time. Break plates. And uh, uh, there. A serving plate, maybe. You get you get what you're served, I suppose, from old Mocker Grenouille. <laughs> she puts on it what she wants. Well, we're having this today. Or the goddess, let's call you know, or whoever's serving on the plates. 
It doesn't really matter. I'm just exploring. I'm exploring narratives, I think. Um, and I was thinking about the mice being the vice as well. My granddad used to call them the vice. I'm going to tell you, don't they? I've got this mice all over the floor with the vice then. Why they're there. Well, they're eating the crumbs. You know, they're telling you this or telling you that. The truth of the pipes, what they're saying. And then one jumped out my toaster the other day, so I just wrote to my mum. It's like, like granddad, which is her dad, used to call them the vice. And then I started thinking they're trying to tell me because like mice can be like page of pentacles and things like that, or which is like getting a spiritual message. Um, a lot of them. Could be anyone. Could be Queen of Pentacles. Could be changing form. It could be. Who else could be a mouse? Anyone. Anyway, so I started thinking and jumped out of the toaster about. The mice running all over the grain in in the, the grain stores and leaving little trails. Could be that, could be anything. Uh, and then wondering about other things. Is this what I do? Pretty much. Pretty much my life, to be honest. Mice on the floor. Oh, the vice are down. Be on the watch out for... What? Little black darts, probably. Little black darts of mouse. Mouse noodle. <laughs> Spaghetti wedges for tea. Yes. Um, I did go to church though on Sunday. Hurrah! Hurrah! They say praise be to all the angels. Well, I do. I pulled over old Berthelina's gravestone. And uh, then realised afterwards it was Sunday and I thought I get to say yes, I did go to church actually. I went to St Mark's in Lake and I'm, I didn't go in, I just pondered around the garden, took some pictures and saw some shoots coming up from old Berthelina. So she's like, she's clearly got her nose back in the air, it's true. Um, she was 16, not 10. She was kicked by a horse. Do you know what? I don't know if that's true or not, but when I did that card yesterday with Berthelina on it, and it said about in the dream, what happened in the dream? Like somebody had said about, watch out, blah, blah, they're darks, and they leave dark marks. Berthelina was kicked to death by a horse, apparently. But there was a, a spot jumped off my ink pen oh, just over the top of Berthelina's grave stone in the picture and she got kicked by a horse so I thought that was odd but I also said maybe it's a black cloud and she wants to be a rain cloud I don't really know it was just a black spot but it's part of the story dynamic I don't know. horse would have left a dark mark if it kicked her maybe. And I was thinking, like, because of the gears thing, some people like call the old funeral cars gears, and it's like the gears or the wagon or whatever you call it, carriage. Uh, other people call like the funeral cars like the darts, don't they? Like the long black ones. We've got dart, we've got darts, darts or carts, gears or shears. Shears would be the sheer horse, probably. Um, Um, right. What am I going to do next? I don't really know. I don't know what's my tea. What am I having? Risotto. And I need to put garlic in it. Or the vampire's probably. Trying to be story time. Go around, children. Go around in the darkness. Go around the fire. Is mock canoe? Me. Mock is the mother, isn't it? It's a spelling. It's a spelling mother. I've talked about this loads and loads. Mother frog. Grinnell's French for frog. You don't say it like that. Well, do you know what? My plates. My weights. Um,
Who's Gary the Ghost? Oh, it's just his part of the story dynamic. Ghost of the Scope, they're called Gary. It's just Gary the Ghost, mate. He's popped in. What's he done? I don't know. Ghost, ghost thinking, that's cool. <laughs> He's hosting the ghosts. Uh, I can't remember what the other one was. Oh, speak, that's right. Go and speak. I was reminded of Gary and Spook. Uh, your dream. <laughs> I don't know what the dream. Well, I think, mm. because I picked out this the other day, didn't I? Let's go and grab that actually. From uh, Bethlehem. No. <laughs> Bristol, Bristol, what's that road called in Bristol? Bristol Yard Road, what's that road called? The Bristol Lanes Road. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. I think we're going to fetch it. I think that was all about ghosts. It was funny. I got it for the kids because it was that sort of meme, that meme by Bristol Potts Avenue. Then I've got two of these. I'll just grab this one. Uh, this was the Sad Ghost Club. It was two pounds. Guide to not being sad. It wasn't commercial into all this junk at the time. And I bought some stuff back. I thought, you know what? This is. You could easily turf these things out yourself. Cause it's always been. Thank you for supporting the Sad Ghost Club. I hope you like the Sad Ghost Club. But the Sad Ghost Club will always be here for you. And it's just that sort of. That sort of thing. Rule number one: Do not overthink everything. Rule number two. Try and accept help if you can. Are you okay? No. Okay. Rule number three. It's okay to take breaks. Rule number four. Sigh. Do not listen to really sad music until 2am. Gary? <laughs> Rule number five. Keep moving forwards. Rule number six. Remember this will pass. What if you're walking forwards into the dark? Well, I suppose. Keep walking. Rule number seven. A change of scenery can really help. He hates sitting at the desk, he's thrown his head down and then he's gone to sit under a mountain and he feels better. Rule number eight. Hey, can I talk to you? I've been feeling a bit down lately. He's talking to his plant. Thanks for listening, I really appreciate it. Try and talk about it now and then to a plant. So, a plant? What's a plant? Well, sometimes it's something they just plant. It could be, oh, do you know what? It probably is actually, it's probably a psychologist, isn't it? In this, in this Bristol style of animation. They've been planted there to listen to you. Don't talk to an actual plant, please. Rule number nine. Try and spend time outdoors when you can. Rule number nine. Number nine. Rule number ten. Try and stick to your normal routine. Your normal routine. Everyone's normal routine is different, isn't it? Try and stick to it, then. Um, Puppets for me, yes. What family? Blah, 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 blah. Keep the adoption. Hey! More animation there. So that reminds me of Gary the ghost, to be honest. I don't know if this ghost is called Gary or not. He might be Spook. He might be Spook, the ghost. His friend. Or Spook might be his dog. Right your hands, Dory! I could be Gary the ghost if I wanted to. We're leaving that. We're leaving that. That's that dynamic. And Donna could be Spook, because she's a white dog. Well, she could be Gary the Ghost, and I could be Spook. I don't really know. I was thinking about being, her being Snoopy today as well. We went up to Pets at Home to get some food bags before we went to church, because it's in the second room. And she, like, was looking for this yet. No, what was I thinking? Oh yeah, she's Snoopy. Well, she's Snoopy because she's got them Snoopy ears. But she's, I often think of her as being like the white the dog in the falls card. Because I, I often come up with the fall in 
in the tarot, which is about new spiritual journeys usually. Uh, we are on a quest. That's the thing that I'm doing at the moment. Um, it's fun, isn't it? I'm thinking about that today. <coughs> it's true. Yeah. That came from my pencil sticks the other day, isn't it? My old yin and yang ones. I was going to go on a long spiritual journey. Great, a long one. A long. You're going on a long journey. How long? I've got those double towers as well. Oh, Christ. Double towers are long. That's going to be long. I think the gates are something, couldn't they? Two towers. Go for a gate. Tower and the tower is what? Does this signify a change? It's true. Change is coming. Don't feel the double. Don't feel the double tower. Don't feel the double what? The tower. La 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 la. How many cups of coffee have I had? Too many. Uh, I was going to have another one, but it started getting grinds in the bottom. I, it was great coffee, so I'm going to have a cup of tea. Uh, my old McGrowley cup. Make sure the cups are nice and clean. It's true. Uh, at least give them a rinse through. Mine spit probably. I mean just the cups, not just the queen of cups. Um, five of cups kept coming up a lot with those twin tower ones. Twin towers kept coming up, two towers, double towers. Uh, page of swords came up a lot, which is like spiritual tennis. Astral tennis, maybe. Uh, oh, loads. Five of cups came up loads, loads. I don't even know what it meant. I know what it means. Keep kicking my cups over for me. Maybe that's about. Do you know what? We keep repeatedly doing it, don't we? You keep doing it. You see, oh, I'll kick my cups over again. There's two behind you, I haven't seen. Blah, de, blah, blah, tower. Five of cups. Da, 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 da. Oh, there's two behind you, I haven't seen. Tower. 
blah de blah de blah and then you start seeing the ones behind you maybe. I don't really know. Maybe kick them over because they were dirty. And you can't stop looking at them. The dirty kicks over the cups. I don't really know. And the great coffee. And the coca tea. Probably. I can see you. I can see you squintly looking at me. Your, your winding cat's tail around the table there. I saw you. I saw you in the, in the what? In the secret chamber from last night. I did. It's true. I don't, do you remember what was in that sock I gave you back? That's the salt. Oh, it must have been salt on the cup there. Uh, maybe that goes in with the cocoa. That's salt, isn't it? Well, okay, it wasn't as good as cocoa then. Salt. I had a dream someone was going to get caught for sliding, not someone down here, but someone else upstairs was going to get caught sliding pills to their children. It was a dream with their. Who? Who? It was a hospital dream. I don't know. I don't think there's anything else to talk about. <laughs>